and welcome to Almedalen live. I'm here with Per Klingweld from uh, Sweden and we're in uh, uh, Almedalen is a place or an event in Visby at Gotland in Sweden. It's a big uh, nice event with uh, that started like a politi- political event but uh, nowadays it's over 20,000 people mostly in the business world and lots of entrepreneurship and sustainability Here we go. Yeah. Uh, and I'm uh, I'm going to talk a little about uh, Almedalen and describe what it is here to you together with uh, Per Kringlel and describe it and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, what an entrepreneur does here and in Almedalen and uh, how uh, social entrepreneur, impact entrepreneur can, uh, uh, what the benefits are coming here to Almedalen in Sweden. Uh, what do you think about uh, Almedalen, Per? Well, I think we're, we're, we're approaching the end uh, of a fantastic week. Um, I think the cool thing with Almedalen is that it is a, you know, it's a non-formal Event and it's not just one event. It's actually about 3,700 events this year happening throughout seven days in this very very small town, uh, very historical town uh, in Visby, uh, Gotland, the biggest island of Sweden. And and I I, I love I love. Almedalen for the fact that it brings everyone so close together for a week. It's just before people go on vacation. The politicians are here every day. There is one party that has their day, so they're they're like telling what they're about, uh, what kind of questions they want to drive, what kind of policies they want to drive, how they would wi- like to see the society uh, develop in general. And then there's a speech at seven o'clock each night in the park down here, and that's actually where it all started with Olaf Palme uh, back in the 1980s. I, I think it was 1987 or so. Um, where he uh, ha- had his speech uh, just for fun because he had his summer house here on Gotland and uh, he was a very driven and entrepreneurial guy himself so he decided to you know kind of create a stage for himself to uh, to do a summer talk basically to to the people of Sweden and ever since it's developed not just to being a place for politicians but more and more for policymakers for lobbyists and actually during the past couple of years for entrepreneurs and tonight we're here and we're going to check out pretty soon um, an event called Startup Grind. Some of you might have heard about it. Um, Startup Grind is a global entrepreneur community. Uh, it was started in Silicon Valley and it's all about like bringing the values of Silicon Valley out into the world. It's today in 220 cities in about 90 countries. Running events each month with a fireside chat format where you basically interview someone who is a famous entrepreneur or an investor or an executive and you kind of tell, you try them, you try to get them to tell the personal story, and that's why the fireside chat format is so important. So tonight we're gonna uh, we're gonna enter into the into the event arena here soon. As it's a small event space, uh, there is a guy called um, Andreas Koenig who will be interviewed uh, on the startup uh, just arrived that he is the co-founder and CEO of, and just arrived. We've seen her actually throughout the week, and it's it's a very interesting kind of B corporation but still not uh, because the B corporation types in Sweden are a bit too regulated still but how it's designed is, is that it's a company where you've regulated basically in all the agreements you have with the shareholders uh, that they're not allowed to basically take any money out of the company so all the profit is constantly reinvested into the company and then this is being held in a foundation so it's owned by the majority of the company is owned by a foundation uh, making sure uh, and ensuring that the direction uh, of this company forever will be to our social impact. Uh, and in this case, just arrived, it's a digital service uh, that is about connecting new arrivals with with jobs, like entry jobs, uh, entry level jobs. And the reason for that is that they don't have anyone who can validate them socially when they come to Sweden. So this service enables that and helps them build you know, just like people build a rating on Amazon in the US or eBay, it helps them build a rating when they get to Sweden. So that's a short briefing about that. But yeah, sun is shining. It's in the middle of Swedish summer. Uh, it's about 20 degrees Celsius in the air. People are happy. A few days ago here, it was super crowded. Now things are t- starting to calm down a bit. I think the most intense days usually are Monday and Tuesday. Uh, but now it's, it's Thursday, so we're getting closer to the end of the week. 
Uh, what do you want us to talk about now? Uh, uh, hi, for your new viewers. I'm Lord Cillion and I'm, I'm also here with Perry in Almedal. I've been here for four years and this is a great mishmash of everything from society, from from uh, the health industry, for entrepreneur industry, the sustainability business, the, the, the car industry, like almost every industry is here. But the one we want to focus the most on is uh, entrepreneurship and especially social entrepreneurship. And you're and you're a special social entrepreneurship guy. Uh, what do you what do you think is important about going to a place like this if you are a social entrepreneur? Let me take these off so you can see my real face as well. It doesn't, doesn't matter how ugly it is. What's your name? Once? My name is Per Klingveld, uh, and uh, my day job is to build a global community for for top talent. So young leadership talent uh, with up to 10 years of professional experience. I'm here pro bono throughout this week uh, because uh, my company realizes that it's much better to invest my knowledge and my network uh, and my drive uh, while motivating me uh, instead of just giving money to uh, to some random uh, charity organization. So this is a pretty new thing in Sweden. I know that pro bono is big in the US where you don't have the same kind of social uh, protection or so in society. Um, where there's no a social net that catch, catches you if you fall. Um, um, what do you want me to talk about now? Why, why, why should a social entrepreneur? Why should a social entrepreneur come here to Almedal? Oh yeah, why should a social entrepreneur come here to Almedal? Well, I think it's a, it's a great place to meet politicians, to like walk between two sessions, have an ice cream with them, to meet with top investors, uh, to meet with lobbyists, to meet with people that represent um, pretty big governmental and non-governmental organizations that have thousands and thousands of members whether it is organizations or if it's just individuals so I think that's uh, yeah one of, one of the main things why, why it's good to be here everyone is so approachable uh, this year there was actually an app launch called Mingla which means, means basically mingle or network uh, or networking and uh, I think it's has about 5,000 users just after this week that have been here and that have been swiping left and right just like on Tinder for the purpose of actually meeting up spontaneously. Um, doesn't matter, you know, what color skin you are, uh, how old you are, um, what background you have, what role you have. It's all about meeting people and the one-on-ones are the most efficient uh, and effective ones. Uh, other than that, there are tons of workshops here, there are seminars uh, and there are events like this, more deep interviews, but not too many actually. And Almost all of the events are in Swedish, so this is one of the first that is in English. Yeah, great. I'm going to show you. Uh, Visby is in, uh, and actually a very old uh, Hansa town with uh, over 700 uh, buildings from the Middle Ages. And it's a very beautiful summer town to be in. And uh, now we're, yeah, here's another social entrepreneur. And now we're going to first talk to him a little bit, and then we're going to sh go inside and show you one, one of the events here. One of the 3,700 events going on here in Almedalen. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Rodrigo. This is actually the first time somebody uh, addresses me as a social entrepreneur. I, th I think I will be one of these new capitalists for <laughs> sustainability instead. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about uh, Almedal and for, uh, for an entrepreneur, a social entrepreneur? Why should they go here? I mean, you have all the possibilities to come here and, and actually talk everything from venture to cooperation to capital to really dig into the questions on you know on the depths by themselves so anybody and everybody in the civil society that is interested to drive any agenda has people to meet here and usually this is a place where you can actually meet some people and then continue on projects later on and some projects actually initiated here I was um, I was actually part of, of, of helping one project last year that was lacking funding and uh, believe it or not, but out clubbing, we found a guy that was willing to just put all the money onto the table and he funded a summer camp for kids with uh, psychical problems that needed to get this rehab week. So that's the magical thing that can happen in Almadalen and it's usually only in Almadalen. I have another great example. I was sitting next to, yeah, I was at a party yesterday, this DJ battle between politicians actually, uh, which is a crazy thing in itself. Um, yeah, but the politicians actually DJ. Uh, so, so the uh, the uh, the governing the the the, par the governing party and the the ruling party and and opposition were actually DJing against each other, uh, and there was tons of people there. It's the biggest fear of missing out event here in Almedal, I would say.
But I, I just ended up next to um, you know three communication managers at top companies. You're just talking and you don't approach each other by telling what you do mainly, but you just approach with a casual conversation and then great things happen. So I think that's part of the magic here in Almadala. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Now, now we're going to go inside and show you a little bit what, where we're we going. So, <laughs> yeah. So we leave Pierre and, and outside in the street, and I'm going to show you the. Uh, the the old Almedal is full of cobblestones and, and lots of uh, uh, hills going up, up, up. But now we're going inside and uh, there are lots of restaurants here in uh, uh, Almedal. And uh, here we're going in to show you just... Uh, all, all the mingles are like this and uh, it's really loud in here so it's really hard to see. But uh, there are lots of people mingling all over uh, Almedal like this. And this is a special entrepreneur mingle but there are mingles for for every niche or every company in in uh, society here so so the, uh, thanks and grace for watching this and if you're more interested you can contact Baluta Batula Bergstrand or you can contact me Michael Cillion if you want to know more about Almelol and our similar events all over the world um, so it's been great talking to you tonight and uh, I will also try to get some more interviews done that's not live I'll post them on um, uh, my Facebook and Bartola will spread them in the contact uh, Impact Journey uh, uh, network for you. So, thanks and great for listening.